Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Books Natasha. Today I have a quite fun video filmed for you guys, and I did plan on filming it for a while now, but I wasn't sure because my reading mode has been all over the place. But my copy of the final book just arrived, so I think it's the, just the thing that I need to start rereading the series and finally finishing it. You have already realized probably from the title that I'm going to re be reading the Kingdom of the Wicked series by Kerry Maniscalco and my final book has just arrived and it is gorgeous. This cover is just amazing. I don't usually go for hardbacks anymore just for a few certain books like this one. I mean Kerry Maniscalco deserves to have a hardback copy of this series on myself and I am planning on keep doing that but I don't have a physical copy for the other books so I will be reading the ebooks versions of those so keep in mind that and without any further ado let's just get straight into this video <laughs> again it's a uh, my second or third read read of this book and i am loving the vibe the creepy italian sort of dark situation vibe i love it also i really like uh, emilia our main character she's really interesting to read about also i love how much she cares about her sister and i love watching this italian family dynamic in this book and i just can't wait to read more <music> reading Kingdom, Kingdom of the Wicked and I was, I'm so glad that I decided to reread the series because I basically remember nothing. I don't remember like two pieces of information from this book and I still can't believe that nothing came to me <laughs> while reading it and it was basically like re reading it for the first time which I loved and I really like Wrath and Emilia's uh, banter, uh, bickering sort of situation. Also, I love how we don't know if we should trust Wrath or even any of the other emotions, desires, no sir, princes basically. And I love watching all these magical stuff happen in this book and learn more and more with each passing uh, chapter. And I just can't wait to start in all the cars because I remember I liked that one better than this one. So we'll see you for, ne for my next clip. Hi, so I started reading you know the cars. I'm about halfway through already. You see me wearing the same shirt because it is still the same day. So and I definitely love this book better because it takes place in hell and we, we see Emilia being in the house of wrath and basically all, there are so, so many different mysteries happening there are talking skulls there are secrets there are stuff that she 
uh, tries to understand about herself and she's trying to practice with her magic as well so not to be caught off guard again and I just love that also Wrath and Emilia have been getting super closer and they are super attracted to one another but they don't want to trust one another basically but also Wrath it keeps a lot of secrets from Emilia and she doesn't like that and she's not sure if she can trust him or not because of her the recent betrayal that happened in the previous book. So we have to see how that one goes. But so far I love the relationship. The chemistry is explosive and I think they're gonna make an incredible couple. <laughs> I just finished reading you know the cars again loved it i was screaming when rath uh, sort of told emilia that she is not supposed to be bright but she's supposed to be the wrath and they are actually already betrothed and that basically happened when she died to save her life and i knew that it was weird that something like that was gonna happen but i was so not ready for this I did remember this scene particularly and I thought that was a cliffhanger but it wasn't. He, he, a lot of stuff also happening uh, by the end of the book. We see finally Wrath and Emilia being on the sort of same page. We see Emilia discover that he's actually the devil and being able to process that and see if she can Married the devil and be okay with it, and Wrath uh, the, the always leaves her with the, the choice of what to do because he wants to be accepted and loved for what he truly is and not some made up version that she has in her head. And I just love that, that he's been so vulnerable with her. Also, we got to see a lot of the different princes interact with one another. And we also see uh, Envy um, sort of helping Emilia discover who she really is and also pushing her to marry Wrath because I think everyone knows except Wrath and Emilia, I'm not sure yet, but there's something going on with their memories and that just brings me so... Uh, Reminds me of Saturday and those woods has still not closed. But yeah, we see Emilia uh, remembering some intimate moments between her and Rath that could happen years ago. And that only happens when she's with Rath, like it triggers them. So, I, for one, uh, my one theory was that they have met in her past life, sort of thing, and then she died or and then erased her memory but was remembered but that is not the case because she also forgot it until recently so i'm not sure what is happening but i can't wait to start the final book as any any minute now and find out <laughs>
guys so i just finished reading kingdom of the feared and i have to say this is my favorite one in the entire series i loved it so much i love how i finally got to know so many different things about emilia and victoria also i love watching russ and emilia's relationship develop more also the curse that was put on russ i found it super interesting also how everything came down to basically everyone making bad choices and catching up with to Emilia and Victoria and basically everyone paying for other people's mistakes. I love that about also I love how Emilia is so so, so sure about uh, her her feelings for us that she decides to give up her powers for him for them basically because she needs to do it in order to break his curse that so he can finally fully love her because the entire time they were together he drinks this elixir to basically keep himself from falling fully in love with her yes he's attractive to her and yes he likes her but he, he can't fall in love with her otherwise they will be stripped apart from each other again like they were so many years ago like I said now and I love how we got to see in the past where Victoria and Emilia went in with a goal to basically seduce a uh, pride and wrath and Emilia uh, ended up falling in love with wrath again and it was, she was willing to give up her house her powers again so she can be with him and I love how even though they had no memories they were a different they were different people and in this time Emilia was raised raised in, in padding false memories that she is a witch and hated demons I love that that they were able to fall in love over again and also I love, uh, the witches are the worst I hated how we found out that uh, her their entire lives uh, the Nona and her family were lying to them, basically imprinted them in their in, in mortal bodies, not be able to access their powers, also keeping her away from wrath, uh, using the, the necklaces and also from the mother, the crone, and it was incredible. I so didn't expect this sort of twist to happen. Kerryman Scalco did not disappoint and I can't wait to see what she writes next. Uh, what else? There were so many different things that happened during this final book and I just love it. Also at the end we see, I was kind of disappointed by the end because uh, Emilia didn't uh, ha have any powers and I thought maybe something was going to happen. But then Wrath, our terrible man, during their coronation ceremony basically, he decides to give a... Uh, half of his powers to Emilia. Basically he has a uh, fire and ice powers and he gave the fire ones from his wings to Emilia so they can be able to rule and be powerful together. And I just love it. And how he says, I don't need any powers, I just need you. And just... Oh my god, I love it. <coughs> I'm sorry. I will definitely be rereading this book soon. It's just, oh my god, just the about I loved it so much. I gave it 4.75 out of 5 stars. I gave Kingdom of the Curse uh, 4.5 and Kingdom of the Wicked 4 stars. I think this might be a 5 star, but I will see, I will think about it more. But so far it's 4.75 and I loved it. I had so much fun reading it. I think I read it in two sittings. So there is that, and when, in the, when I was in the in the second half of the book, I stayed up super late to read it. I went to bed to bed like 4 a.m. and I have no regrets. I loved it so much. I had so much fun, and it's been a while since I was so invested into a fantasy book, except for Throne of Glass series that which I read recently. But that one's pretty complicated for me. But this one, there's nothing complicated about it. I love it so much. And I'm so happy that I pre-ordered the copy. Also, I realized that it has this sort of design and I love that. I was hoping for it to be signed, but it's okay. I have my Stuff in Jack the River books signed, which 
I need to match a converted series of all time. And yeah. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my reading vlog. I had so much fun making it. I'm sorry there were many clips, but I ended up reading the entirety of the books in like one sitting or in two sittings. So I'm sorry there is a lot of content. But I will, I'm still new to reading vlogs, so keep in mind that. And I will see you for my next video very soon. Bye!